Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about some Breath of the Wild 2 rumors. Now, uh, I wasn't going to make a video on this, but uh, I love talking about Zelda. I don't know if you guys are aware of how big of a deal Zelda is to my life, how it's my favorite IP, my favorite franchise, uh, and yeah, Breath of the Wild is my favorite Zelda game. So having uh, the ability to talk about anything regarding future Zelda games is always exciting to me. However, uh, I don't like to bring up things that I just don't think there is a reasonable chance of them being true. Uh, just because at the end of the day, while we, we talk about a lot of rumors and a lot of speculation on this channel, uh, I tend to try to make sure I steer towards things that have at least a possibility of being true, either because the source has been correct in the past. That's usually a big indicator uh, as well. You know, when we talk about things from Bloomberg or when we talk about things from Jeff Grubb. Uh, but also when we talk about things from like Nate the Hate, Emily Rogers, uh, and people like that, we, we tend to try to steer towards things that at least have a history uh, from that source. Uh, and technically where I'm getting these from has a history, but he talked about these things in a way where, you know what, it all could be bullshit. But uh, we're going to talk about it anyways because if some of this stuff is true, it's really, really cool. We have like five major things here to talk about, including release dates, title names, story details, um, uh, uh, some really cool stuff. But before I get into it, hey, if you enjoy this rumor video, if you enjoy videos like this, be sure to drop a like on the video uh, and subscribe to the channel. We also have a giveaway going on as well. Head down to the pinned comment or the description to find out how to enter that. All right, so this is pretty simple at the beginning here. So... For starters, all of these rumors come from my good pal, Game Over Jesse. Uh, Game Over Jesse is a Zelda-based YouTuber. He does talk about other things time to time, but he has you know, a Zelda podcast, highly in games cast. Uh, so he, he talks a lot about Zelda stuff, and I've known him for a long time. Um, he has been correct on some of the rumors he's reported on in the past, but also been incorrect as well. Not like he's some 100% spotty track record here, uh, but he is more up-to-date on Zelda rumors than I am. It is what it is. He claims that all of these rumors came from different people. So none of these rumors can be attributed to the same person. So if any one of these individual rumors ends up being true, the person he got it from obviously then has some backing and some verification behind them. Uh, so even though the other ones could be untrue, one of them being true is you know kind of a, a, a thing where you, you follow the breadcrumbs. All right. Uh, so... One of these rumors was technically already true. We talked about this. Uh, and the first one we're going to bring up is that something Zelda is happening in April. Now, we talked about this before, how there could have been a potential 35th anniversary, um, you know, direct this month. That was like a rumor video we put out. And it was based on some stuff from Game Over Jesse. Well, it turns out here his original source said uh, that the way that he worded that something would happen in April made it kind of seem like we're talking about some sort of Age of Calamity trailer, maybe a Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. But... Uh, when the source doubled down that, hey, something Zelda is going to happen, and I'm not going to tell you what, uh, it actually was true. This was actually something that did happen. Now, whether something's going to happen beyond this, I don't know. That's where Breath of the Wild 2 comes in. But technically, uh, we did get Breath of the Wild champion statues announced by first four figures, with Rivali being the first one shown off. So technically, this part of the rumor came true. It's just... Is there more to it than just these PVC statues this month? Because again, the source just said something Zelda related is coming in April. Well, we got something Zelda related. Is there more? We'll have to wait and see. Now, that's you know that's all fine. That's all dandy. Um, that just kind of starts us off with something that we already know to be true, already know is believable. Let's move into some of the more wild things happening. <laughs> Breath of the Wild, get it? Uh, we have a title. So the title for the game, according to one of his sources, is Hope of the Wild. Now, look, uh, it's a very interesting name. We're not going to say Nintendo has never reused parts of names before. We've had a link to the past, a link between worlds. Uh, so, like, Nintendo has done this before where they've had very similar naming. And obviously, if you're trying to capture the Breath of the Wild crowd, having a similar similar name, you know, calling it The Legend of Zelda Hope of the Wild versus The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild could invoke some of the same fan base to pick up Hope of the Wild. Also, my personal take is that I would rather have Breath of the Wild 2 versus Hope of the Wild. I think Breath of the Wild 2 kind of conveys um, that it's a sequel better and would get parents and everyone else to understand this is the next game to buy after Breath of the Wild. But that's just a personal thing. Uh, and by the way, it's funny because when I say that, A Link, a link to the Past and A Link Between Worlds uh, was also called Triforce of the Gods and Triforce of the Gods 2 in Japan. So 
They kind of did both naming conventions with the same game. Who knows? Maybe they do that this time. Maybe it's Breath of the Wild 2 in Japan, but it's Hope of the Wild everywhere else. I, I think Hope of the Wild is a very interesting name. I haven't seen this name thrown around anywhere else on the internet, so this would be the originating source uh, for that name. Um, I, I I don't like the name. I think it's kind of dumb. Hope of the Wild. Uh, okay. Uh, but then again... You know, I don't always understand Nintendo's naming conventions for Zelda games until I play them. You know, like Majora's Mask was pretty literal. Ocarina of Time was pretty literal. But then, like, A Link to the Past, little did we know it was literal, but it didn't really make sense when we were first just playing the game. You know, it, it didn't really, um, you know, make a lot of sense until then. So it's one of those situations where the, the names don't always line up with things until you play the game. So Hope of the Wild, it is what it is. I think it's probably just a made-up fan name but you know it is what it is that's what one of his sources is saying um another one another completely different source talks about the world below so you see it in the trailer behind me where you know they're, they're walking down in these cavernous areas and they come upon who we presume to be ganondorf uh could be demise could be other things don't know but right now the massive running theory based on the garb and the jewel and all this is that it's ganondorf so this is clearly taking place in a cave-like area, right? You see water dripping. It's very cave-like in nature. A very underground-esque style um, trailer is what we've seen. So there's going to be more to this underground world. I guess that's probably not too surprising. Uh, it says the underground area will actually be kind of like a second world. Now, we've seen second worlds in Zelda all the time. Um, a Link Between World literally had two worlds like the past did. Ocarina of Time had two different worlds based on how old you were. So you time travel. So this two world concept isn't new to Zelda, so having a second world is that's pretty. I'd say that's pretty believable. Um, but uh, what's interesting is that the tunnels that are part of this underground world. So it's not really like, it's a separate world from the above ground world, but it's still kind of all part of the whole same area. And remember, we do have underground areas in uh, Breath of the Wild that we just don't really talk that much about. The shrines, all the shrines go down. Well, most of the shrines, some of the shrines happen on the surface, but all, most of the shrines go down to underground. So uh, there is an underground something going on. So what's interesting is the underground area is actually um, a lot like a second world and it has tunnels that connect to parts of Hyrule. So different parts of Hyrule, you'll be able to enter and exit through these tunnels. Um, and also, this is where things get really exciting if this part's true. It says, parts of old dungeons are going to be discoverable under there that have either been abandoned or are cursed. So is this where we get traditional dungeons back? Do we revisit old dungeons from old games? Like, this is the crazy part here. What the hell is going on underground besides just discovering? Like, you think, oh, we're just going down there because, you know, Hyrule Castle sank in or flew up and we're just like, what is this stuff going on down here? What the hell? Is it if like we we find dungeons underneath that make sense to be abandoned or make sense to be cursed or something like that? Hence why we haven't been to them in a long time. Wouldn't that be really really neat to have like these discoverable dungeons under the underground that we can actually visit and go through? That I I don't know. I I think that's just a really neat idea. Um, I, maybe I'm getting my hopes up and hoping that it's real, but I think it's a really really cool idea. All right, this next one is pretty simple. We'll release in 2021. Uh, we've actually heard this ourselves from other people. Uh, this isn't a new rumor per se, but it is from a new source for him. So 2021 release date, I'm guessing holidays. That I don't think is too shocking, too surprising. Uh, I think right now the running the running theory is we're either getting it this holiday or getting it early 2022. We'll see. We know we're going to see the game. The one thing we know definitively, definitively from AG Anomo is we will see Breath of the Wild 2 this year. Like, we'll see a trailer or something, but we'll see if, uh, you know, if 2021 ends up being Nintendo's chosen target date. And the last one, this is a neat idea, kind of borrowing from what Zelda's done before, but doing it in a different way. And that is time travel and or time control. Uh, so they are suggesting that new abilities similar to the ones that Link had with the rune abilities uh, in the original Breath of the Wild will let them slow down or speed up time. So kind of you know, like what stasis does, stasis like stops things. So imagining that it's a, a an advanced stasis ability, I, I guess would be one way to think about it. But more than that, there will be time travel 
Uh, but it's not going to be like time travel like uh, we've seen in, in Zelda games in the past where you're jumping seven years, all that jazz, and having all this playable stuff. Instead, what it's going to be is time travel uh, where, the, where this device, this, this mechanism, allows you to revisit actual playable memories. You know, we had memories in Breath of the Wild. Memories are back, but these memories go way back now to when the Divine Beast and the Guardians were first created. And you'll be able to play parts of these memories because of this new ability slash device. So I think that's really 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 cool uh having this idea that you could go back to when these things were made to a prior version of link by the way you're playing a prior hero essentially uh and i think it's really interesting to see why these things were made because we still don't know like we have ideas about why these things were created but we don't really fundamentally know what happened we know what happened when they were rediscovered but we don't know what happened uh, to, to a, like what made the sheikah and everyone else originally create these things what were they fighting what was going on uh, we don't know and why were they buried and lost the time and why were the divine beasts left out and not buried and lost them like why what is happening we don't actually know so it is going to be really cool to potentially revisit that and be playable so, I don't know. I, I think these rumors are very interesting. I love talking about Breath of the Wild too. I don't know if any of these are true. I am not the source on any of this. Uh, but I find it interesting to talk about it. Hey, and remember, you folks told me to cover these. You folks told me. I asked you. And you said, hey, yeah, cover them. So, there you go. Uh, some people did want me to mark them as like, you know, most believable, the least believable 2021 release dates, probably most believable out of this whole batch. Uh, but yeah, I, again, I don't know. These aren't my sources, so I'm just sending the information your way. You guys do with it what you like. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy videos like this and want more, uh, let me know down in the comments below because I'm, I love talking Zelda. Obviously, I would prefer to talk about something real, something tangible, but until Nintendo gives us something real and tangible, you know, this is what we got to work with when we want to talk about Breath of the Wild 2. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo RoboJets from the Center Prime, and I will catch you in the next video.